You have a go to proceed with terminal count and launch of Artemis 1. Or go for launch. Go for launch. Said weather is go for launch. For the Artemis generation, this is for you. At this time, I give you a go to resume count and launch Artemis 1. First engine start. Off of Artemis 1. On November 16, 2022, NASA's Artemis 1 mission began a new era of spaceflight, testing systems that will take humans back to the moon and beyond. The space launch system built for Artemis 1 is the most powerful rocket in the world. Just how big is it? The Artemis rocket system reaches a height of 322 feet. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty. And it weighs an astounding 5.75 million pounds. That's like launching the weight of 450 elephants into space. It takes a powerful system of engines and boosters to get this massive rocket into the air and to propel the Orion capsule all the way to the moon. Two solid rocket boosters burn about six tons of solid propellant each second to help lift the rocket off the launch pad. Assisting the boosters are four engines at the base of the core stage which burn up more than 1,500 gallons of liquid propellant each second. Above the core stage is the Orion spacecraft. The launch abort system is a protection system for the crew during launch. The Orion crew module is where astronauts will go in future missions. Artemis 1 is an uncrewed test, meaning no humans are on board this time. The service module contains Orion's propulsion system, a single engine that will provide the spacecraft almost 25,000 pounds of thrust as it sends the spacecraft to the moon. Liftoff happens once the core stage engines start and the solid rocket boosters ignite. The rocket rapidly gains speed as it lights up the sky. And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen burnoff igniters initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. About two minutes into the flight, the rocket releases the two solid rocket boosters. Standing by for solid rocket booster jettison and shortly thereafter. Their job is complete. Confirmation that the solid rocket boosters have separated. Shortly after, the launch abort system is released from the top of the crew module. The core stage and its engines continue to propel the spacecraft to over 17,000 miles per hour. And then they, too, separate. With a final push, the single engine of the interim cryogenic propulsion stage thrusts Orion onto the moon. The propulsion stage separates two hours into the flight, leaving Orion on its own for the remaining journey. It took Orion several days to get to the moon, where it remained in a distant orbit for almost a week. Then the spacecraft began its long journey home to Earth, where it faces the final test of the mission, re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Orion returns to the planet traveling 25,000 miles per hour enduring temperatures nearly 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 
a series of parachutes deploy to bring its speed down to close to 20 miles per hour, so it can safely splash down into the Pacific Ocean. Artemis 1 was a historic step in sending humans back to the moon and beyond, taking the Artemis generation further than ever before.